Hey guys, so I was thinking, how was Trump affected by the pandemic? So I did a little research, and it turns out at one point he was losing over a million dollars a day in lost revenue. In fact, according to Forbes, his net worth dropped by one billion at one point, which is actually insane. Could you imagine somehow losing one billion or being in debt by a billion and somehow your life not being ruined? Well, that's the kind of liberty being obscenely rich grants you. And honestly, I think we all want it. Not necessarily the money, but the security that comes with it. Jeff Bezos could lose 99% of his wealth tomorrow and still have a net worth placing deep into the top 3,000 highest net worths in the world. This man could literally go through the worst financial week of his life and come out unscathed. Meanwhile, I get into one bad accident or get diagnosed with an expensive to treat disease or condition and I'm bankrupt. If you don't have insurance covering everything, then you could be one bad day away from being homeless. And sadly, most people are just a couple of unfortunate events from homelessness. Right now, people are being tested on their financial fortitude, but trust me, it could be much, much worse. And it's unfair. And I wanna show you just how unfair it is. So for that purpose, we're gonna go through some of the richest people on earth and see what kind of difference they could make if they really wanted to and how they compare to you and me so you get a sense of the scale we're dealing with here first i'd like to explain what net worth is and how to calculate it so basically you just add up the value of all your assets cars houses cash etc and subtract the value of all your combined debts credit cards student loans mortgage etc it's commonly used to get a rough estimate of wealth before we get into the rich people let's get a sense of the average wealth around the united states and the average net worth in the united states is about six hundred ninety two thousand dollars. obviously keep in mind this is an average this includes the crazy rich people of all ages so if you're nowhere near that don't worry it's not a race and most people especially at my age are miles away from that number in fact because of student loans the average net worth at my age is actually negative because of that for better accuracy i'd like to use the median and according to market watch it's around ninety-seven thousand dollars, which is a huge difference from six hundred ninety-two thousand. the insane high net worths of the one percent actually wind up raising the average by a lot and because i'm fairly young i'll actually use the medium for people under 35 for further accuracy and again according to market watch that comes out to about eleven thousand dollars now what could you buy with just over $11,000? How far would that get you in today's economy? Not very, but let's see a few examples just so you get a sense of how little that is. Firstly, you can't buy a house or much real estate with that, so that's off the table. What you could do is cover medical bills for a stabbing. Well, most of it at least. You'd end up having to go in debt for the remaining $900, which isn't that much. You could, though, cover four months of rent in a one-bedroom apartment in New York City, or buy seven shares of Tesla, but not much after that. So obviously, this isn't that much money. But just for funsies, let's calculate how tall the tower would be if you put it all into $1 bills and stack them on top of each other. And according to my math, it looks like it would be about 47.73 inches tall, or just under 4 feet tall. Not the mightiest tower for sure, but respectable. Now let's move on to our first rich person. And because he's convenient and he's well known, let's do Trump. So according to Google, he sits at a comfy 2.1 billion in a time where basically everything stopped. So right off the bat, he's 190,000 times wealthier than the medium under 35. For fun, I calculated my net worth and it turns out it would take 350,000 me's to add up to Trump's wealth. And after doing the math, it comes out to 752,500 feet tall. Makes our four-foot mound look like an anthill. In fact, Trump's cash tower would be over two and a half times taller than the world's tallest building. Burj Khalifa in Dubai. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I read that wrong. I meant to say over 270 times. Jeez. It's such a massive tower that if you turned it sideways and ran a Bugatti Veyron EB 16.4 at full speed, it would take it a full 33 minutes to run through the whole thing. With that tower, you could afford to build one-tenth of a wall dividing the United States from Mexico. But why would you do that? You could also eliminate trachoma. It's an infection caused by bacteria that often causes blindness. Apparently, there are 200 million people in developing countries at risk of developing it, and over 3 million in need of surgery because of it. And according to MSN, it's estimated to only take 1 billion to solve. So with the money from Trump Tower, you could afford to solve this issue two times over, or you could just blow it on cars and jets and stuff. The next rich person we're taking a look at today is Mark Zuckerberg, owner of Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Oculus, the list goes on. His net worth comes to a cool 95 billion, making him about 48 times wealthier than Trump and over 10 million times wealthier than the average Joe. His stack of cash is 40 million feet tall. That's absolutely insane. It's over twice as tall as the USA is wide. In fact, if you erected such a structure, satellites would crash into it all the time. The International Space Station would crash on the bottom 5% of it. With that absurd amount of money, you could easily eradicate world hunger for three years. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, it would only take 30 billion to provide food to people in need for a year. Quite a sum of money, but totally doable for the budget some of these people have. Imagine that. All the effort charity organizations pour into solving world hunger. And some of these guys could literally match an entire country's charitable contributions and solve issues like that just like that. Maybe not permanently, but they could certainly put a massive dent into the amount of suffering that defines the lives of so many people less fortunate than you and I. And certainly less fortunate than Mark Zuckerberg. Just think, in 2016, 5.6 million children under the age of 5 died from malnutrition. That's millions of kids that never experienced life past learning to walk, if they even got that far. With barely three-fourths of his net worth, Zuckerberg could put a beyond
non-significant dent into issues like this and dramatically increase the number of kids that make it at least into adulthood. Last up, naturally, is Jeff Bezos, owner of the wildly successful Amazon Web Store. We all know what that is. He's currently king of the hill when it comes to wealth, and his net worth is currently sitting at a comfortable $189 billion. Absolutely ridiculous. His tower would stand at a whopping 67,725,000 feet tall, or 20,642 kilometers. That's tall enough to make it halfway around the world, literally. The Earth has a circumference of about 40,000 kilometers, and Jeff's tower would make it about half of that. You could literally build a bridge to China. And if you take that bridge to the bank, you could deliver universal safe drinking water and sanitation to the places that need it. According to estimates made by the World Bank, that would only take about 150 billion. So Jeff would actually have 15 times Trump's worth left over. And with half of that, if he was feeling really generous, he could also eradicate rabies and dogs for a comparatively small amount, only 6 billion. He'd still have enough money to eliminate polio 10 times over, and then he'd be left with just Trump's net worth. Not a bad place to be for sure, but I doubt any of these guys would have the empathy to pull a move like that. The change in lifestyle would probably be too much. To finish off the video, I don't want these guys to give away all their money. I'm not smart enough to foresee the kind of consequences that would have in our economy. And I don't want these guys to feel guilty about every starving child in Africa, but I do. And it escapes my understanding when I feel so terribly about things happening all around me. And I see the only people that can seemingly put a stop to this, not even trying most of the time. It perplexes me when people less fortunate give so much and when study after study reveals that the wealthy actually give less of their income when compared to the less wealthy proportionately. It confuses me how someone can sleep well at night knowing full well that children are dying and they can stop it, but they prioritize their business or their jets or towers of gold or ridiculous over-the-top jewelry or whatever. It messes with me when these people are literally looking for new creative ways to burn money instead of trying to do something meaningful. Sadly, all we can do is try to be better and do whatever we can to help each other. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you're looking to grow your own wealth, a great place to start is the stock market. There's a link below to a free stock on Robinhood. And if you're just starting out, I already made a video on stocks. Thank you.